motherfuckers, it's April 16th, MOD, coming at you with another fucking video, as always, coming to you guys from the MOD Crypt, and if you missed anything in the past week, you can click that eye in the upper right corner of the screen right now, get caught up, I'd appreciate it, remember, hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell for all notifications so you don't miss anything, MOD, giving you only the real elite underground metal, as always, raw fucking intolerance, the way it should be. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays once again on the channel. Tonight we're going deep into the underground, into Winter Springs, Florida. And you know, this is a band that really shouldn't need a fucking introduction for most of you underground freaks like myself. But tonight, it's Black Witcher. Desecration of the Holy Kingdom, which was released in 2001 on Full Moon Productions. And this one was requested by channel member Kyler Ragsdale. This one's for you, brother. Thank you. For your support, I apologize it took so long to get this one out, but remember I did fracture my wrist about three weeks ago and I couldn't do any content uh, in my studio for that time. But anyway, the Black Witch reformed back in 1996 and the band has released uh, three full lengths and a lengthy number of splits, EPs, demos and live albums. So for the lineup on Desecration of the Holy Kingdom is as follows, we have Impure Wrath, vocals, bass, Vez on drums, VB on the guitar work. All right, let's just get into the fucking review. So the album opens up with the title track, Desecration of the Holy Kingdom, and right away there's some dark, ominous effects with demonic growling. That's very, very foreboding, which gives it a sense of impending doom and destruction right before it literally goes off like a nuclear bomb of complete lunacy and driven cacophonic rage and driving maddening intensity that tramples your soul and body into fucking oblivion. Drum work collides against the bombastic militant occupancy combined with machine gun fucking brutal riffs that slices the goddamn flesh with immaculate precision. Vocals literally sound like an enraged psychotic soldier on the verge of war that is hungry for blood and annihilation of the Christian scum that is close at hand, and this is just a brutal, relentless, barbaric, savage fucking track. Absolutely killer. Next up, we have Crush the Messiah, and that's exactly what it fucking sounds like, guys. As drums and guitars go off like a rapid artillery, firing against the smoke-filled sky of obliteration and destructive chaos that emits nothing but pure insanity in its war-torn, raging, blasphemous onslaught against the entire fucking world. The hatred and rage that permeates this track and album is unprecedented with an unbridled fury of violence and death that invokes havoc on everything in its fucking wake. Vocals are of course unhinged and insane that combine very well with the fucking savage instrumentation this track fucking slays as well. Next we get Blasphemous Onslaught, and this is 1 minute and 43 seconds of pure raging terror and chaos emitting from your fucking speakers. This will literally make your fucking house shake and collapse from the decimating guitar work, furious militant blasting cacophonic drum work, and demonic furious psychotic fucking vocals. This is truly an insane track at neck breaking speeds of aggression and ultimate savagery killer shit here as well. All right, so now the album opens up and so now the album breaks into command of the Iron Baphomet. Great fucking track. Uh, my God, this just keeps pummeling you with this absolute insane rage and doesn't let up for a second. And war metal is not a genre that fucks around, guys. This is pure seething, venomous rage fueled destruction of all mankind and everything on Earth. Drumming feels like you're getting shot by a fucking tank from the grinding, violent, bone-shattering riffs and absolutely insane vocals on this track, and he comes across like a fucking lunatic unbound on a psychotic killing spree, and it's like you're getting grinded under the fucking tank treads as this track fucking steamrolls you, which is hearkening back to a primordial, primal raw rage of a very, very primordial state of consciousness. This is fucking furious rage and hatred. So let's check out some fucking black witchery here on MOD. Enjoy. Alright, you motherfuckers. This song is dedicated to proclamation, arts code, revenge, and the fucking gods of war. Blast! 
Baphomet! Command of the Iron Baphomet! fucking shit am i right absolutely so next up we have unholy vengeance of war and man can it get any more insane and savage this is just pure goddamn chaos destruction and nothing but evisceration and it just annihilates everything in its fucking way riffs are so barbaric and primal that you'd swear these maniacs were caged animals that have just been set loose upon the world with a seething fury of bloodlust caged deep within their hungry eyes Drums can bind well here and are blasting insanity like always and there's no fucking melody to be found here, so fuck off. And you, some of you fucking tech clowns, you tech clowns, don't expect to enjoy this music. There's nothing technical about any of this and this is the way I love my metal. Absolutely fucking killer. This is nothing but pure savage fucking barbarism at its finest killer fucking trap. So now it breaks into damnation into damnation internal and that's exactly what it sounds like damnation okay no hope no light no life only destruction war chaos death and hatred and nihilism which beckons you forward into rage and furious psychotic insanity and the music is just that all right now drums are nothing but blasting death destructive chaos fucking crazy blast beats guitars are like a goddamn chainsaw cutting down the flesh of the weak and every weakling on earth this is truly the sound of maniacal rage fully intact with no regard for life or humanity whatsoever what's captured here on this track and this album is the sheer essence of brutality savagery and slaughter of all human life on earth and it works well to come together so cohesively this is another killer track Next we have Chaos Storms of Demonic Hate, and what can I say, this is absolutely crazy. It's got some really strange ominous dark ambient effects with some demonic howls that sound like the mouth of hell opening to swallow the entire world into the unknown black void. 
then the guitars, drums, and vocals come in, like the legions of Hell's army that are set upon loose upon the fucking world, that literally envelop all within its demonic grasp and insanity of rage nihilism and pure war metal punishment beyond anything you could possibly comprehend in so many fucking ways. And then it just destroys you, man. And when a band like this comes around, you take fucking notice. This is another killer track. Next up, we have Invincible Antichrist Victory. What a name for a track. Unbelievable. <clears throat> and holy shit, man, this is two minutes of nothing but a goddamn execution of the entire human race set loose with its fucking insane drumming guitars and vocals from the deepest depths and the pits of hell emerging from their slumber of ancient times, consuming all in its fucking demonic wake and grasp of fury and hatred. This is killer and absolutely slays. Closing out the album is the Angel Holocaust, and again, you have no choice of escape at all from this album. The inevitable evil victory is at hand right at the end of this album, and the waves of Hell's army against heaven and the world itself. Okay, now demonic guitar work, the army of Hell's drumming coming at you in full force, destroy and devour the soul. The guitars and drums are nothing but chaos and insanity in a whirlwind of fury, rage, and hatred that takes a firm hold of your soul for the full 27 minutes of this album's pure fucking onslaught of barbaric war metal brilliance. Absolutely killer. The final verdict for Desecration of the Holy Kingdom from Black Witchery is getting a 9 out of 10. This is a must own for any war metal freak. Hail the fucking underground. All right, man, there you have it. Another album review in the books here on the channel. Hope you enjoyed. Hit, If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. Turn on the bell for notifications. Merchandise up on the screen right there. Two new awesome shirts from my beautiful, beloved Janelle. Thank you so much. We've got Music of Destruction, Spread the Plague, Annihilate the Human Race. Four different colors, five different designs. Absolutely killer says spread the plague annihilate the human race on the front it's me giving the finger i mean why wouldn't i absolutely killer also mod raw fucking intolerance coming up on the screen right now as well another new design by janelle this one is me this mod green lettering raw fucking intolerance on the back with that awesome design four different colors on that one five different designs as well thank you so much join the channel become an mod elite vip you get awesome perks like you saw here tonight $4.99 a month, hit this join button, you get access to exclusive content, review requests, or whatever else you want, like you saw here tonight, band interviews and promotions, been promoting my buddy's bands, awesome stuff, also collaborations, um, help with your YouTube channel, all that awesome stuff, and the Seed Podcast, exclusive content, like I said, it's been awesome, thank you to everybody who super chatted last night on the stream I made 140 bucks it was absolutely killer that is why I do this I do this for you guys lots of hard work thank you so much to everybody who subscribes joins super chats all that awesome stuff you guys fucking rule alright man that's gonna do it for me have an awesome night we'll see you for album ranking Wednesdays hails